without offending. So now my mouth is in the jailhouse with cases pending. First Amendment, you replaced it, rigged it, dubbed it down. It's not an option. Some of it I understand. Take the power from me. SMT Nation, we back. Part three, testing the Verizon 5G home internet. Verizon 5G Home Plus, to be exact, and we're testing the L- LV65. I always want to say LG, uh, but this is the, the Verizon Home Gateway that comes with a receiver, aka antenna. It's external. It's additional secondary hardware that's supposed to enhance the signal in situations where, you know, the signal might be kind of dicey, and it really does seem to be helping. We've done some testing in the lower level. We've done testing on the main level. Now we're testing the top floor of the SMT HQ. All right, first speed test here, 392 on the downlink, 39 on the uplink. This is on device data. So this is, uh, you know, the Google Pixel 7 Pro. We're testing in the afternoon. So we're testing on device. And then we're going to see how the home gateway performs relatively to the phone. All right, 425 on the down, 57 on the up. Connection looks pretty solid. We've got a pretty clean signal. There's definitely some usage on the site, but we got zero packet loss. Ping time looks decent. All right, no concerns, no issues. Let's go ahead and test the fast.com uh, just for the sake of testing. Fast.com, you know, gives you that Netflix server, you know, experience. You could see, you know, what you're getting for video playback, like video resolution. And, you know, 5G Ultra Admin from Verizon, you know, you're getting a un, you know, the unobstructed, unob- you know, throughput measure. All right, so you, you get to use as much throughput as you want. It's great. Uh, so you're getting 4K, you know, 8K, whatever you want with this. All right, plenty good. We're at about 300, 330 megabits per second on the phone, on device. So what we want to do now is we want to compare this to the Verizon 5G home internet. I've got the antenna by the window. Nothing really preventing it from getting a good clean signal, just kind of that window screen. All right, so let's go ahead and test the Wi-Fi connection. Uh, it's either connected on Wi-Fi on the 5 gigahertz or the 6 gigahertz. I'm not sure, uh, but it should be plenty good. Now, one thing that I would just want to note, when you move the Verizon 5G home internet around a lot, it messes with the ping. All right, so don't be alarmed if you're, like, testing and trying to find the perfect spot for it. Once it kind of settles in, you run a you know several speed tests, just use it normally. The ping times come down. It starts dropping into, like, the 20s and 30s. It's not really an issue, so don't be alarmed by, you know, seeing that on my testing. Pretty much it does it, you know, every time I move it. All right, so we're we're upwards over 500 megabits per second down. Uh, we're at 504, and then for uplink, we're at like 65. So we've got a little bit more throughput, probably due to the fact that we're getting a stronger signal. So the RSRP is probably better, the, the SINAR is probably better, and it's showing, right, in the throughput. So here's a second test. 540 down, about 61 up. Both the downlink and the uplink faster on the home internet. Uh, again, I got this, um, I bought this plan and the service like literally the day before they changed all the terms and slowed down all the plans and raised pricing. So taking advantage of what I got and, you know, like I said, I'll probably be passing it on to family so they could take advantage of it and get away from cable and their bullshit. Anyways, um, fast.com on the home internet to show you guys that it is not throttled in any way, shape, or form. All right, so we're in the 400s. We're in the 500s. Looks like we're almost approaching maybe 560 megabits per second down. So that's the testing on the upper level. Show you guys what this LV65 gateway looks like, how it performs with the antenna. It's been a pretty good experience, folks. I got one more thing to show you guys in another video. We'll be testing outside where the antenna could be completely you know, out there into the elements, getting the best signal possible. Uh, But comment down below what you think of the testing, if you've got this, what your experiences are, and uh, tell me what you think of my testing, and maybe, you know, uh, you could share what your experiences have been like. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe for more. Turn on the bell notifications so you know whenever I upload new content. And if you want to support your favorite YouTube creators, all the links in the description can get you there. Thanks in advance for that, and we shall see you all on the next video. Peace.